Well, good morning, All Saints. Welcome to all of you uh, this morning in person and a very special welcome to all those uh, watching online. Uh, you are no less part of our um, 
community and worshipping community this morning. Welcome to you. Well, uh, today you might be sitting next to someone wearing a cape. Don't worry, you'll find out all about our holiday club and uh, what we've been up to this week in the uh, church centre with so many children and young people and their leaders. I think it's the leaders in the capes, but you'll find out later in our service. But as we begin, just a reminder that um, if you know the Lord Jesus, you are the most blessed person on the face of the earth. The Apostle Paul says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. If you are a Christian, if you follow the Lord Jesus, you lack no good thing. You have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. You have every spiritual blessing in Christ. And it is found in Christ. And that's where our joy is. And that's where our hope is, in Christ. So before we sing, let us say these words together on the screen. The psalmist says, and we say, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name, proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among all peoples. Well, let's do just that as we stand and sing, Bless the Lord, O my soul.
So as we stand in the presence of our holy God, let us make our humble confession. We pray together. Lord our God, you are king, you are good, you are powerful, you are holy, and we are not. We're sorry for pretending that we are what we aren't, and for forgetting who you are, our Lord and God. Forgive us and help us, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because he has paid for all our sin at the cross and taken away our guilt and shame and given us new life, new spirit within us. So help us to live our risen life with joyful obedience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please do sit down. And just a few pieces of uh, church uh, family news. Uh, this evening we begin our summer series of uh, mission prayer and praise evenings. A great opportunity to come uh, at 6.30 in the church centre and pray for our mission partners. Uh, hear updates from them and uh, pray uh, for them. And uh, that will be continuing all throughout the summer on Sunday evenings. Just a note, um, I think uh, after this evening, uh, most of the staff are on holidays for a couple of weeks, so um, do uh, be in touch by email, but um, please be uh, patient with us. Um, it might take us a, a couple of weeks to respond, but um, church wardens are around um, if you need anything in an emergency. And uh, a very happy birthday to Vi Anderson, who is very much part of our church family, but Vi um, uh, worships with us online. Um, she's at home with either Catherine or Andy. So Vi, um, a happy birthday to you for this week. I think it was 95, so happy birthday to Vi. Let's give Vi a round of applause. I think Derek and Dorothy were celebrating a, a significant anniversary as well. So, um, you know, we praise God for your, for your happy marriage and for many years together. Great. Well, let's find out why people are dressed in capes. Let's uh, hand over to Captain Pineapple and Golden Girl. Welcome, welcome to the last day of Holiday Club. If you're young, come down to the front. Let's be calling down our super kids. Let's see those lightning bolts. Let's have the invincible down to the front. And any <laughs> awesome Avengers. The Justice League, come on down. And the Guardians of the Galaxy. And the web slingers, come on down. And the leaders as well, come on down. Ah, yes. Great job, everybody. Gradually they assemble. <laughs> Do come down if you're young or young at heart. It'd be lovely to have you. Well, Captain Pineapple is delighted to be here along with his faithful sidekick, Golden Girl. Oh, sidekick? Goodness gracious. Actually, partner in crime fighting, you know. Now, we have had a wonderful three days looking at the greatest ever superhero. We have been learning all about Jesus from three key passages from Mark's Gospel. We have been learning about the rescuing super saviour, the death crusher, the sin slayer, which reminds me a little bit of our theme song. Certainly Shall we does. sing it one last time? Come the on, super everybody. Met superheroes theme song, super saviour. Are we ready? With the action. Who can save the day, take our sins away? Who can rescue us with mighty power? Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up and out of the grave. 
the Savior to the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus. Up, up, and out of the grave. He's a death crusher. Death crusher. Sin smasher. Sin smasher. Who's the mighty Super Savior? Jesus. He's a death crusher. Death crusher. Sin smasher. Sin smasher. Who's the mighty super savior? Jesus. One, two, three, now. He's fiercer than Wolverine. He's stronger than the Hulk. Who is he? A good question. Who can save the day? Sins away, who can rescue us with mighty power? Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus, up, up, and out of the grave. Super Savior to the rescue, Super Savior mighty to save. Wonderful to see so many of you here this morning. And do you know we've had 79 kids between the ages of 5 and 11 in the mornings for three days. And we've had over 30 helpers in the morning club. Can we just say a big thank you to all of our wonderful helpers. <laughs> now on day one of the club, uh, we heard uh, and we learned all about Jesus proclaiming the time has come, the kingdom of God is near. Which, of course, it was, because he was the eternal king. The kingdom was near because he was near. And then we heard from Professor McBoffin about Jesus calling his first disciples, who left their nets and became fishers of men. And Jesus invites us to follow him as well. And then we played games, and we made superhero marks, masks, and Clark won the quiz, which meant Lorraine got pied. <laughs> Sorry, Lorraine. <laughs> Now, on day two, we were thinking about Jesus healing a blind man, curiously, in two parts. And then we learned from Super Sight Steffi about Jesus asking his disciples, who do you say I am? And Peter clearly seeing for the first time who Jesus really was. You are the Christ. I wonder, do we see Jesus who he really is? Also, we crafted our wonderful, oh, not that one, Super Club, Superhero Club t-shirts just like this one with Jesus is my superhero, with God everything is possible. And on this day it was Hunter and Caleb who won the quiz and poor old Steve got pied. <laughs> on day three, Captain Pineapple. <clears throat> I got it and I did it. I got it and I did it. Da 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 da. Hey, da 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 da. You had to be there. What can I say? <laughs> but we were thinking about Jesus' crucifixion. How this horrible history also means so much more than that. We thought about the darkness that fell at the time that Jesus was on the cross and how that showed God's anger at sin but how Jesus' death paid the price for our sins. And then we thought about how the temple, in the, uh, the temple curtain had torn from top to bottom and how this showed that through the cross we can be friends with God again. Something that the centurion at the foot of the cross also realised. Plus we made these fantastic superhero photo frames and we had giant inflatable games and a barbecue for all the families. 
Now, do you know what? I think I think it's time for another song. It is. This shall one, we have another song? I think song, we should guys. encourage everybody to stand and sing a song. Everybody. This is old school. You may know this from the olden days. God's <laughs> people aren't super brave, superheroes. Their actions join in as you get them. It's got a nice long intro as well. Play the. God's people aren't super brave superheroes They haven't got muscles from their head to their toes They're not gladiators and it's easy to see In fact, it's amazing They're just like you and me Sometimes scared Shaking and shivering But we've got to realize we've got God on our side and we can do absolutely anything. Yeah, we can do absolutely anything. God's people are super brave superheroes. They haven't got muscles from their heads to their toes. They're not gladiators and it's easy to see. In fact, it's amazing. They're just like you and me. People are super brave superheroes. They haven't got muscles from their heads to their toes. They're not gladiators and it's easy to see. In fact, it's amazing. They're just like you and me. Sometimes scared. Shaking and a shivering. But we got to realize we've got God on our side. So we can do absolutely everything. Yeah, we Super brave superheroes They haven't got muscles from their heads to their toes They're not gladiators and it's easy to see In fact, it's amazing They're just like you and me Woo well, done, well done, everybody! everybody. And sit. Ah, oh, fabulous. Well, each day We've been helped, haven't we, by the leader of the Superheroes oh, Academy, have, have. Professor McBuffin. Um, I don't know whether he's here today. Is Professor he McBuffin. Professor! Oh, he oh, is! He wonderful, wonderful. Good morning. Oh, good, good morning to you, Professor. Morning. And Golden Girl. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you have nearly finished oh, your retraining. No. You were called back, and you have nearly finished your retraining. Oh. How have you enjoyed your week? Oh, we've enjoyed it. Hugely, oh, thank yes. you. But can I just say, nice tartan trousers. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, well, this is the McBuffin tartan. McBuffin tartan? <laughs> McBuffin tartan. McBuffin tartan. Not McMuffin tartan. <laughs> McBuffin tartan. Worn by the great and the good of the McBuffin clan for hundreds of years. Oh, hundreds of years. McBuffin, do, do tell us the whereabouts in Scotland is your, is your clan from? Well, yeah. You'll see the McBuffin tartan being worn in uh, Tuberamori, Balamori, uh, Jackanori, uh, and Bedtime Story. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my cousin Rupert wears it, and he lives in Nutwood. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Rupert from Nutwood? Is he a bear? Aye, he's a giant of a man. <laughs> now, I'm not here just to talk about the McBuffin tartan, <laughs> fascinating as it is. I'm here to give you a final piece of retraining. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Now, as you might remember, we've had a man coming to visit us who carries an HP pencil. Oh, yes, I love this bit. I love Mr. Sketch. He Sketch. only carries an HP pencil, but he comes at huge expense. Huge, what expense? huge expense. Huge expense. <gasps> So I'd like you to settle down. Let's settle down. Watch oh, let's carefully. See. Oh, let's see. And take your last piece of training. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Professor. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, Hello, Mr. Sketch. Sketch. <laughs> I love him. He never speaks. He's a man of mystery. Nobody knows Nobody who he knows is. Who oh, he but look, is. he's got his pencil. There Hero he is. with an H B. Hi. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, there he goes. He always has a sketch ready prepared for us, doesn't he? Ready? What have, you, what have you got today, Mr. Sketch? Can we see? Yep. Yeah. We can't see it. Bring it closer. 
close. Yeah, yeah, it's too far there away. Oh, there we are. Oh, living for the hero. What must I do to get into heaven? Oh, look, look he looks really oh, weighed down, he's doesn't so he? Much he's, got so, he's carrying so much baggage oh, with him. Is. What must we do to get into heaven? He says, well, there's a choice. Oh, I don't know. G give us another clue. Uh, uh, Mr. Sketch, can you do us another sketch? Do us a second one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, is he going? Oh, yeah, he's going to do us another sketch. You'll enjoy this. Oh, he's got Very his HP pencil. pencil. He's really fast on the sketch as well, isn't he? Are you ready? Just like, wow. Here we go. Ready? Here he goes. Ready? Here, Here he we goes. goes. Watch the speed of his hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> bit more. Oh, he's going to Go help on, us then. here, isn't he? Get with it. Show, show us your there. sketch. He's done. He's oh, done. He's resting his pencil. Let's see. Oh, oh let's what see what he's done. Oh, 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 pretty, oh there, there we, we are. Oh, so there's oh, two look. people now. So, so, so she's, you're the one I, she's following Jesus, I think, isn't she? That she bit, those is. big feet, she's, and, and she's following God. Oh, but look at the other guy. Oh, he's no. still carrying his own bags. I'm going to do it on my own. And he's still oh, so there's kind of like bags. a choice, do you think? Oh, I, I don't wonder. know. It's difficult, isn't it? it I is. wonder. I think it's something to do with making a choice yes. uh, 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 and making the right choice to follow. Is that right? Have I got it right? Yes, yes. Oh, we've Aww. got it right. Wonderful. Goodbye, Mr. Sketch. Thanks, Mr. Sketch. Thanks for joining us this week. Oh, he's doing a little celebratory dance. Well, that is fabulous. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Bye. Ooh. There he goes. He does like a dance. Doesn't oh, he loves to dance. Well done. Oh, thank well you very done. much. I am Ooh. pleased to say. He's still going. <laughs> oh, there we are. <laughs> A huge expense. A huge, huge expense. I'm pleased to say you've finally passed your retaining <gasps> at the oh. National Superhero Academy. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. There are your certificated, you. uh, certificated you. scrolls, Thank and you. inside you'll find a voucher for a 5% off at McMoppin's Superhero Costume Emporium. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, I must be going now. Batman's lost his bat. Oh, oh no. no! Again! And he's due to come in at number four for Gotham City Cricket Club this afternoon. No. Oh, thank you, thank Professor you McMuffin! Professor. Bye. Goodbye! Bye. <laughs> wow! Wow! Well, I think Webbsling a Webster is gonna is gonna have some things to tell us. But before we do first that, of all, shall we shall we have a, a passage from the Bible? I think that's a I great think, I think idea. Here, I think we've marked the passage, but uh, uh, it may be uh, George. Ah, uh, he's got his, he's, he's brought his own copy of the Bible with him. Certainly Wonderful. Yes. Here he comes. Well done, Wonderful. George. Wonderful. Thank you, George. Thank you. Today's reading is from Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 27 found on page 1014 in your Pew Bibles. The Rich and the Kingdom of God As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony, you shall not defraud, honour your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said. Go, sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come, follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said again, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, 
but not with God. All things are possible with God. This is the word of the Lord. Wonderful. Lovely. So we're going to invite up Webslinger Webster. Great. Okay. Well, we've been this week at Superhero Academy. And it's been fantastic. It's been hard trading, but it has been great. And only the best recruits get to be in the Super League. And we're going to see today who makes the grade. And for this, everyone is involved. Now, for this, you need to stand up, but you don't need to take part. But if you'd still like to take part, but yeah, standing up might be a bit difficult, you can just put your hand up. So if all everyone can stand up, if you'd like to take part, or just raise your hand, as I say. And we've got some questions. If you can't make the grade, then you just sit down, okay? So the first one is, uh, stay standing if you've seen a superhero film. If you haven't, you have to sit down. Uh, okay, if you have not seen a superhero film, never mind. Didn't make the grade. Next question. Sit down or stay standing if you do know who this is. Maybe those at home can play along as well. So I'm trying to hold that up to the camera over there. Good. Okay, oh no, we've lost a few more who can't make the grade. Okay. Oh, 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 this way. Okay, I didn't know. Uh, are you guys playing behind there? There we go. Not sure. Right, okay. It's Wolverine. The next question is this. Stay standing if you came to Superhero Academy Holiday Club this week. Sadly, you have to sit down if you didn't. Oh, okay. Wow. We're really whittling it down here. And the last question is this. Stay standing if you know which team I was in. Hands up if you knew. Which team I was I in? Web Slingers. Well done. And right at the back, there's someone who's still standing. What team was I in? Web Slingers. Fantastic. Well, I think the children have done really well, so a round of applause for them. So if you can sit down. Well, much of life can be like this. You know, you have to prove if you are good enough, either to either get into a certain school or to get into a football club. Or maybe you have to work really hard to prove that you deserve that promotion at work. There's always requirements to see if you are worth it. Well, is it the same with God? Is it the same with God? No. Well, we're going to see if we can be good enough to be in God's kingdom. And we're going to be a man who seems or looks like he can. He seems super holy. Well, we meet him and the type of person that he is, is that, ah, oh, he's amazing. He is intelligent. He's handsome or beautiful. He's nice. He's rich. He's funny. He's popular. And you think, if only I was like him, then life would be sorted. Well, we're going to find out how well he does. Surely we could think he's first at the gate to be into heaven. Well, this is what he says to Jesus. If you look with me at verse 16, he says this. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? This is life forever with God. And this will be absolutely mind-blowing. You see, heaven, you'll be with the best person ever. That is God himself. And that is an amazing place to be. And we're going to find out that this man is keen. Remember, he falls on his knees and says, what must I do? I wonder how keen we are to be in heaven with God. But if to be with God, you have to be like God. Okay, You have to love the things that God loves. Well, Jesus is going to compare this man's goodness to the goodness of God. And that's what we see in the Ten Commandments, to see if he is good enough. And Jesus says them in verse 19. You can see them. He says, do not murder, do not commit adultery, that is to love your husband or wife, no other. He says, do not steal or lie to your uh, lie. He says, don't defraud, which is don't trick people out of money, and obey your parents. Well, let's see if this man has passed the test. What does it say in verse 20? He says, oh, all these things I've kept since I was a boy. Surely he's done it. Surely he is into heaven now. But Jesus has one more thing to say. 
he says this in verse 21. One thing you lack. Go sell everything and give to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven. I wonder which the man will choose. Uh, will he keep all his stuff? Or will he give it all away to the poor and have treasure in heaven as he follows Jesus? Well, let's see which one he does. In verse 22, what does he do? At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. This man was left completely speechless. In a few minutes, it all gone so horribly wrong after meeting Jesus. You see, he loved his money, his stuff, more than he loved God, who'd actually given him all these things. Well, the Jesus friends were completely shocked. They couldn't believe it. He's this man. He should have been good enough for heaven, but he wasn't. He looked so perfect, but he wasn't. So what hope is there for you and me? Well, Jesus is telling us here that it is impossible. It is impossible to make it to the grade, as it were. You can't. And Jesus gives this amazing kind of picture. It's a bit of a, a crazy picture. It's like an impossible picture challenge. And it goes a bit like this. He says, it's like getting a camel through the eye of a sewing needle. And I've got Captain Pineapple here to help us try this out. Okay, Captain Pineapple, I've got the eye of a needle here, of a, thre- of a, uh, of a needle. Let's give it a go. One, two, three, go! Uh, uh, push, push! It's going in a bit. I think it's going in a bit. No. One last go. Go! Did it get through? No. no. Wasn't even worth a response, was it? <laughs> From some of you? No. It doesn't get through in any way. It's ridiculous. But it clearly makes the point, and it's memorable. So why would Jesus set this crazily high bar? That's impossible. Why would he make this high desert demand that can't be kept? Is Jesus being cruel or harsh here? Well, you see that the man did do something right at the beginning. He did come to Jesus and fall on his knees. But there's one thing he didn't do what was right. He did did something that was badly wrong. We see it. He says, what must I do? What must I do to inherit eternal life? It looks like he worked really hard, didn't he? He looked like he kept the rules, did his best. He was very good. It wasn't enough. No, he couldn't make the grade. It was beyond him. And so Jesus' friends say in verse 26, who can be saved? Who can be saved? Who can get into heaven? Well, when it comes to who is close to God, well, I think we have a bit of a chart like this sometimes. Um, So it looks like that uh, here we have a chart, something like this. And we would say uh, we have really bad people, terrible people, at the bottom there, don't we? We stick them down there. Uh, like People like terrorists, they'd go down at the bottom there, wouldn't they? Right down at the bottom. Uh, people who are like bullies, who make life really difficult, we'd probably put them about just there. But really good people, people who help and give so much to help others, maybe like doctors, they would go about there. And someone maybe we could say really good who we know, like Mother Teresa, uh, she might go right up there. That's how we think life works, okay? So we have this little mini chart. But there's a problem. You see, with this chart that I've got here, we have to remember to be with God, you have to be like God. The problem is, where are the people? Well, they are now right at the bottom, all the way down here. The chart doesn't work like that, does it? Only God is good. Only Jesus has kept the requirements to be good. And if we look at ourselves, we know that what we think, say, and do, well, is not right. It hurts others, and most of all, God himself. We don't live right in God's world. This is known as sin. And so, actually, we can't do it. It is impossible. We can't do it. 
It's beyond us. But Jesus doesn't say, oh, it's impossible, so you might as well give up. No. What does he say in verse 27? He says, with man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. You see, the problem is, if it starts with you and me, we will fail. However good we think we are, we're not good enough. But God does the impossible. He makes us good enough. And that was at the cross where Jesus died. At the cross, Jesus took all our sin and God's anger at it. And he gave us his perfect life. So now we can be with God forever. Something we don't deserve. It's a bit like the pictures we just had near the end. We can either think that we can do it ourselves, which you can't, or you come and you trust in Jesus for all that he's done. You see, it's only God who makes us good enough. It's not what we do, but what Jesus has done, making Jesus our superhero. Can you catch that? There we go. <gasps> Thank you, Webslinger Webster. Now we've got... Thank you. Have you noticed, whenever Chris walks past, there's a kind of like a, a creamy, slightly cheesy smell? Oh. That would be because on Friday, Albert won the quiz, oh, and Webslinger Webster got pie! <laughs> it was a popular choice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. We've got another song. It's a one that we all know very well. Your love. Uh, so can we invite everybody to stand and join in the actions if you're feeling joyful uh, or young. Your love will last forever. It's like a fire. 
big shout for teenagers and young adults in the evening. Uh, and we have Josh and Jake who are going to tell us a little bit uh, about what's been happening there with some pictures. Thank you, guys. Big shout was amazing. We played lots of games. Some with ICT shirts. There was loads of tuck. There was even tortilla slap. Which was so fun. And isn't as violent as it looks. There were 20 teenagers, some interesting gospel talks, and some great discussions. There was human table football. We even had a professional triathlete. There was general silliness and lots of games, some very competitive. There were even some uncle and nephew grudge matches. <laughs> and some very silly games. Sometimes you just had to be there. Overall, we had, we had an amazing time. Thank you to Chris, Jamie and Dom for doing talks. We can't wait for next year. A few of the children have written some prayers. So if you've written a prayer and would like to pray it now with everyone else, that'd be amazing. Come and stand here, guys. Well done. Lovely. Okay. Dear God, thank you for Holiday Club and the fun we had playing What's the Time Batman. Thank you that Jesus is my super saviour. Amen. Amen. Thank you that children can learn about Jesus at Holiday Club. Thank you that please help them that they would continue to know and love Jesus as they, the. Um, as they grow, what should we say? Or go home over the summer? It's your writing, I can't read. I haven't got my glass. I haven't. Captain Pineapple hasn't got his glasses on. <laughs> Just finish the prayer, if you like, as they... Um, have their summer. Have their summer. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the tortilla slap and all the other fun things we did at Big Shout. Amen. Amen. Dear God, thank you for our super leaders and heroic songs. Thank you for the game and craft activities. Thank you for the fun and laughter. But most importantly, thank you for the Bible, which helped us to learn about you and Jesus and how Jesus fished men and how Jesus paid our prices and took away our sins. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we thank you for everybody who has helped um, us at Big Shout and a Holiday Club this week. We thank you for the registration team, the security team, the leaders and the helpers, the refreshment team and the cooks and everybody else who was involved. Amen. Amen. And we're going to finish together uh, with the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us. Uh, let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well done, guys. Do be praying for uh, the Holiday Club seeds, gospel seeds that have been sown, that they would um, be planted deep into the children's and the leaders' hearts, and uh, they would bear much fruit for God's glory.
we're going to stand and sing our final hymn, Be Thou My Vision, looking to Jesus, the super saviour, to light our path and guide our way in this life to heaven. Let's stand and sing. do be seated and before I give the uh, final blessing just a reminder if you need to would like to pray with someone we have our prayer ministry team in the side chapel who would love to listen and to pray with you please do take that opportunity um, uh, to pray with anything that God has placed on your heart um, this week or even from the service this morning tea and coffee will be served and you can see all the action that was happening uh, during the week at Holiday Club, still set up in the church hall. Um, do uh, go and look at the uh, various um, posters on the wall and uh, ask the children, ask the leaders, um, what was their favorite thing about Holiday Club? What did they learn about Jesus, the super savior? So a final blessing for God's people. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you 
and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace, both this day and forevermore. Amen. Have a great week, everyone.